hayawi hayawi huo sababu wengi wanaangalia tv zote za Kenya vyombo vya kurusha habari ile ni sarakasi na wakenya wameanza kuangazia kwamba mahakama ya Kenya imebadilika ikakuwa kama bunge la taifa na bunge la seneti kwa nini nasema hivi Brigadi Gashagwa alifanya application yake tarehe 14 tarehe 18 mwendo wa saa kumi. kabla kule Kirugoya kabla ya petition ya naibu uh, Gashagwa kulikuwa petition zingine zilizokuwa zimewekwa petition sita ambazo moja yako ni petition yangu ya sheria mtaani na shadra kwa mboi ikaenda kwa justice mugambi akasema maswala tunayoibua ni mazito akasema mara moja na zile petition zingine zote zifikishwe mbele ya jaji mkuu aweze kufanya kitu kinachoitwa impanelment basi file zile zilienda kwa CJ file ya gashawa ilitoka kirugoya saa kumi tuna ufununu kwamba koti ilikaa usiku kule Kirugoya sanne usiku ili kufanya consolidation baada ya serikali kutisha majaji wa Kirugoya kisha ile faili ikabebu kutoka Kirugoya saa ku, sanne usiku kuja Nairobi ilipoletwa naibu wa chief justice ambaye hana nguvu za kisheria za kuweza kufanya impanelment sababu hilo ni jukumu la chief justice peke yake jukumu hilo ni kama lile la rais la kuwa amiri jeshi mkuu wa taifa hawezi pea mtu mamlaka yale chief justice hawezi pea na yale mamlaka naibu wa rais naibu wa chief justice akaketi usiku pengine saa sita usiku akafanya maamuzi peke yake mwendo wa saa sita usiku kwamba majaji aliwateua watatu wale majaji wakaketi siku ya Jumamosi aliye hapa ni wakili Nyaberi ambaye ni church elder wa kanisa la SDA tuliweka kesi kotini kupinga bunge kuketi siku ya Jumamosi majaji hawa watatu wameketi siku ya Jumamosi bila mawakili wagashagwa bila kuzingatia uhuru wa kikatiba wa kuabudu article 32 ya katiba wakaamua peke yao wakiwa na attorney general wakiwa na solicitor general wakiwa na serikali kisha notisi kapeanwa eti kesi itasikizwa leo kesi ilikuwa isikizwe tarehe 24 wameyarudisha mpaka leo maswala mazito chief justice deputy chief justice alipoketi aliamua petition zilikuwa karibu kumi. alileta petition tatu peke yake leo akaondoa zile petition zetu akasema hazina maana kipengele cha katiba atakachozungumza kizungu kinasema kwamba kila mtu ana haki mbele ya sheria mna uhakika kwamba uh, lile ombi ambalo mmeambiwa kwamba muende muandike kwa sasa litasikizwa jioni hii ama mtakuwa muda zaidi tumeandika ombi ambalo litasikizwa leo majaji wamesema tunarudi saa kisha lile ombi la deputy chief justice litatatuliwa baada hilo kutatuliwa swala la pili ni wale majaji watatu sisi kama tunaomtetea Gashagwa hatuna imani nao jinsi walivyoteuliwa jinsi wamefanya hii kazi hatuna imani nao hilo ndilo swala lingine ambalo lazima litatuliwe kwa hivyo niliposema kwamba ukiangalia fidavit ya rais rais mwenyewe ameswa fidavit anasema kwamba ili koti halina jurisdiction kumbuka BBI ilisema kwamba huwezi shtaki rais rais mwenyewe ameweka kidole 
basi sasa rais amejileta kwenye ulingo wa koti tutamuita aje achukue kiapo tuweze ku cross examine rais sababu yeye ndiye amesoa affidavit sijui kama mawakili wake walimweleza ni nindi adhari ni gani ya rais kuweka kidole pale kwa hivyo haya yataendelea na bado ulimuona naibu wa rais akiwa katika mahakamani kumbuka kwamba kuondolewa kwa naibu rais naibu rais anatolewa eti amekiuka katiba sasa mahakama imekiuka katiba je mahakama ile ina nguvu zani za kumuondoa kwa hivyo hii kesi sisi tunasema kwamba tutatoka hapa mwisho kuyamuliwa kesi itaenda mpaka court of appeal itatoka court of appeal mwisho tamati ya gashagwa itaamuliwa supreme court kwa hivyo wakenya mgojee karibu miaka mitatu hivi ndipo ile kesi itakapomalizika asante uh, wakili nyeberi na kuzungu um this is what i have to say about the proceedings that have happened this morning is that uh, we've been in court for almost two hours over two hours and the first issue that came was the issue to do with the empaneling of the, the judges who are sitting as uh, has already been explained by uh, Dunstan here is that uh, the role or duty to empanel the judges of the of a bench to hear a matter is done by the uh, chief justice chief justice is not around i'm told uh, she's out of the country i'm told i'm, I'm not too sure about that but, she ran away but the only thing that now we are doing is this that article 165 sub article 4 gives that mandate to the chief justice to empanel those judges now these ones were empaneled by the deputy chief justice is the deputy chief justice uh, capable of doing work that the cj is constitutionally mandated to do the answer is no that is what we are going to discuss in the afternoon when we go back to court whether it is available for the dcj to empanel those judges to come and hear now the other thing is this if the cj was out of the country these days and as uh, already uh, presented by the judge uh, judge murima is that these times we do it online was the place where the cj is not covered by net that she could deal with the files as, as presented and then she proceeds to empanel the judges from wherever whichever point of the world that she is in. that's another issue the third issue is that this is done at night remember the old constitution people used to go to court at night and they used to be bundled into whatever into prison and uh, you know several things used to happen which were not proper but in this instance is the court capable and able to sit on a saturday because working hours we know it it's from monday to friday 8 to 5 if there is any emergency that is when the court through the cj uh, can sit the cj can mandate and order for the court to come and sit if there is a state of emergency the removal of the uh, dp is not an emergency why the 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 national assembly and the senate had 60 days within which to process the, this issue there was also the the president 14. had 14 days to nominate to nominate the the incoming or the to nominate for voting today at the at the national assembly but in this instance there is nothing that there is no urgency that made these issues to be so all we are saying is one there are files that have a priority we also filed ours, that is why we are in court. The ones that have been mentioned in court are the ones that uh, had uh, orders issued on 18th, but those that have no orders for uh, from 18th that we filed, and that's the more reason why we are agitated that we've been given an opportunity to be consolidated. Because even ours raise constitution, heavy constitutional issues, and that is why we're getting to court for purposes of that uh, determination. Can I be